Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so I promised you sometime this week that I would do a game review and uh, this is it. So um, I'm going to try and do a game review. I can't say I could do it every week but I'm definitely going to do it every time I pick up a new game. Um, it's probably going to mostly be for 3DS because it's the only games platform I own right now. Um, so this will be the first of hopefully a few. But as I said, it probably won't be a weekly thing. So um, the first game that I am going to review is... Mario Kart 7. Um, now this is a game that I've been waiting for since the 3DS came out. It's Mario Kart is one of my favourite racing games ever. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. So um, how does how's Mario Kart 7? Well, uh, some of the new stuff in it, I'm going to go through that first. Some of the new stuff. One of them, I'm going to show you the cover again, and if I zoom in, if you look at the Ouija, you will see that he is flying, and that is one of the new things in this game that you can do, flying. Um, they've got parts of tracks where you literally fly and you use the analog stick to steer, and it's really, really simple, and I think it's it's brilliant it opens new parts of tracks up to you it's really really simple to use you know it's a great little add-on to Mario Kart I, I really think it is it's properly good um, they all you can also go underwater in it and you'll have a little propeller on the back of your car and you can steer through the water and that uh, now personally I thought that might be a bit of an afterthought from Nintendo there um, don't get me wrong, it's really good fun, um, but it's not nearly as good as flying is. Flying, I think, was the main big wow factor of the new game. Um, underwater's good, just not as good, I don't think. Um, they have 16 brand new tracks that are for 3DS. It, uh, uh, there. Let me try that again. They are exclusively for the 3DS right now. Who knows, in later games they might put them back in probably will. Um, that moves me on to another thing is that they've got 16 older tracks from different platforms of that the game was on. They've got tracks from the Super NES, they've got it from the original DS game, they've got it f tracks from the Nintendo Wii as well. So you've got a huge variety of tracks. The new tracks are absolutely brilliant. They've built them with 3D in mind and it is really, really good and uh, some of the old tracks are just as fun to revisit so uh, yeah what else um, also in this you have the ability to actually customize your cart not just pick a character pick a cart and go um, you actually get to customize what frame you want what wheels you want what glider you want at the back and um, I think this really means that instead of choosing a character because of their weight or their abilities or anything like that. You can pick a character because you want to play as them and you can design the cart around them, which I think is really, really good. It means you can stick with whatever is your favourite character from Nintendo and you can just design the cart that you want around them, which is really, really cool. Um, characters. Uh, that is... It's one tiny criticism I have, and that is that I really do not think that they have enough characters. They have 16 characters, 17 if you want to include playing as your me as well. You can uh, play as your me avatar in this, which I quite like. It's pretty good. It's who I usually play as, especially if I'm online. Um, uh, yeah, 16 characters just doesn't seem enough. You know, the Nintendo Wii one had loads more characters than that, and they've missed some really good characters. Waggle Luigi isn't in there. You know, Diddy Kong isn't in there. Who else? Dry Bones Bowser isn't in there. You know, there are a lot of characters that aren't in there that I think should be. Um, so that's one bit of criticism I have about it, really. Um, it's really the only bit of criticism I have. It's still just as fun as Mario Kart was before. You can just have a huge laugh with it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, another thing, the online is brilliant. It's really, really good fun. Um, the on, uh, say the online on 
the old DS. It was alright. Back, back in the day it was fine, but this one is, they've t brought it up to new levels, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, if you are a 3DS owner, then you'll know about Street Pass and all of that. They've used Street Pass in the Mario Kart games, um, in a really cool way I think. If you walk past someone who has the Mario Kart cartridge in, and you walk past them, then uh, the two consoles will immediately send ghost data from time trials between the two so that then when you next play Mario Kart these ghost data trials will end up in your Mario Kart channel so you can try beating the person that you've just passed you can try beating this time trial on that which I think is really really cool that's nice it's a nice feature um, so yeah that is that it? Uh, oh no they have gyro steering also, if you're a 3DS owner, you know that 3DSs have their own gyro system, and it's used in Mario Kart. You can flick up on the D-pad, and you can use your actual DS to steer. Sorry, that made you a bit dizzy. Sorry about that. Um, which is really, really cool. And then, if you are playing um, using gyro to steer, it will go into first-person view, which is really, really odd on Mario Kart, because I've been so used in all the other games playing in third-person it's going to first person is really really strange but once you pick it up and get the hang of it it's actually really really good so um yeah that's pretty much it for my review um i hope you guys liked it if you did like it then like it and leave a post or a comment down below that would be nice and um if you've got any 3ds games that you'd like me to take a look at review then again leave comments down below um, and yeah, just let me know what you thought of this game review, if you think I was fair or not, your own views on Mario Kart if you want. And um, yeah, I will see you either if you're watching my daily vlog channel tomorrow, or when I next do a review. Um, I will see you guys later.